very popular position. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a Fred response video. Um, and so, yeah, I'll link it this to this video just to promote this whole idea of us interacting and all that kind of crap. And, um, you know, I'll attempt to be somewhat polite, but yeah, I really do find this offensive. I, I really find this, this, these nihilists really offensive. Um, they think they are the real atheists, in a sense. And, in, you know, in, in my opinion, they're the ones that have the taint of dogma tied to them and convenience, uh, just like the religious people. You know, that there's nothing holding them, there's nothing, there's nothing attractive about what they're talking about except to a selfish ape, or except to something who doesn't want the complexity of responsibility and accountability. They seem like people running away from those things um, to a vacuous statement, which is, I'll just nothing arise, everything that isn't screaming in my face. So the like like the Antikondavads, they will they will essentially justify any means to the end because you can just pretend the means never happened because it's in the past. They make these arguments that once something's in the past it doesn't it never was. It might as well never have been kind of thing. It never happened. It means nothing. It's irrelevant because it has no strings in the present or in the future, let's say. Anyway, I don't want to get into that whole thing. I'm just, I'm just saying, I just, it is obnoxious, and it is insulting, and it is in patronizing, and then they expect you to be polite. Well, frankly, okay, I don't, I don't really care. I mean, if you, want to, if you want to write your insults on a very pretty cake, and you want to say something insulting, and you're just saying that, look, it's in cake icing. How can you take it as offensive? And, and because I just say, no, fuck you, and I just throw shit at you, I'm saying they're the same things. If you can't figure out the same thing, it's the same thing, fucker. So I don't care. Be polite as you want. Use your little, your little veiled language. Use your little delicate insults. All right? But they're not fooling me, fucker. So I'm just honestly going to say, fuck you when you pull that crap. And you're pulling crap here, Mr. Intellectual. This is bull fucking shit. All right? There's no similarity between a philosophy based on analyzing... The fact that we have a bastard origin in, in a cosmos of deterministic material interactions and trying to dissect in that what the gameplay is, what is the most significant thing that's happening, and evaluating how much significance is being squandered or wasted using concepts like productive and destructive that would be tied to correlates of things that almost everybody would recognize as valuable in their own existence that only a psychotic lunatic couldn't acknowledge as things that are valuable. Like little squirrel eating nut on the side of the road, little squirrel with his guts splashed out flat on the fucking road. I mean, anybody who's not a psychotic lunatic can figure out that those two things are different things and that, yeah, it would probably be better if everything else was going to stay exactly the same. The little squirrel doesn't have his guts outside of his fucking body. And I'm not being a religious nut or a dogmatic asshole because I can tell the difference between little squirrel eating nut and little squirrel being flat with his gut sticking out. But, you know, some retards can't figure that out. Some retards are so fucking psychotic and stupid that they'll pick up dead rabbit and, Hey, look, I'm most money. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> because they can't figure out that it sort of might matter how the means to the end happened and what happened in the transition from being little hoppy happy bunny to being little dead bunny and that something significant might have happened in between that transition from hoppy bunny to dead bunny my I mean fuck you people fuck these nihilist cunts just call them what they are they're more disgusting than ignorant religious people because they're using fucking intellectual conversation. The religious assholes are making a sense. They're not even they're not even arguing for objective morality. They're arguing for a fucking deliberate creator. I mean, of course, if somebody invents the game, they make the rule book for the game, then obviously there's objective rules of the game. And then if you're gonna play some game that doesn't go by that rule book, it's some other game. Quite obviously. Duh. 
But to put that in the category of doing something calling, uh, writing up ob objective ethics or objective values or dissecting what the truth is in our world, to say that that's what religious people are doing is obnoxious. That's not what they're doing. Their mommy told them a fable and they're reciting it. There's no fucking goddamn intellectual integrity to what they're doing at all. And you're going to insult me by saying I'm doing something similar to what they're doing? I'm not reciting a fable, you fucking cunt. I'm putting a whole logical, fact-based argument together explaining to you that I have sensations, you goddamn asshole. Oh, I mean, this really does piss me off. But there really are important words here. So, and some of them, I, I, I've, I've been talking in these last, and these, there's always these key word thing, okay? So, so what Fred doesn't get is that, you know, he, he's going to use these mind-independent bullshit, and I'll point it out in his video, how it's just bad, it's baby talk. He's not describing what's happening to us. This word mind is a meaningless sack of shit word anyway. I mean, it doesn't, it has no definition. Why are you even using a word like that? It doesn't really get to what's happening to us. Anyway. All right, we play two roles, as experiencers and one as interpreter. So this is, the, this is what I've been trying to get to. I've said it like four times in the last four videos now, and I'll say it one more time. When we look at ourselves, what are we? We are a feeling animal. We're doing the experiencing thing. And then we're a thinking animal. And we're trying to interpret and understand what's happening to us as a feeling thing. There's two ways you can see what's happening to yourself. You can sit there and feel it and use your brain as a scheming tool alone and only let your brain see what the feeling thing forces the world to be. Or you can intellectually step out of yourself for a few minutes now and then and recognize that, oh, I'm a feeling thing, he's a feeling thing, they're a feeling thing, you can be a feeling thing too, and you can sing the little Dr. Pepper song or however, whatever music you want to put it to, but you can figure out that you're just not the only thing in the universe, that all the other little players are also playing, that it's sort of important, that if you think it's important what happens to you, then you've got to figure it's important what happens to them. This isn't fucking complicated. And that's called interpretation. So, so we're interpreting the world and we're trying to understand what's happening in it and, and convert the language of reality into the language of communicating ideas and concepts, of categories. The categories aren't obvious in reality. Well, some of them are obvious, but I mean, the fact that things are in categories. There's not labels on things. It doesn't say brown. It looks brown. It doesn't say snow. It, it is doing snow. Okay, we have to put the labels on the thing. The labels aren't there for us. They don't say good, bad, right, wrong, uh, fun, unfun. We have to interpret whether it's fun or unfun or good or bad. And that's what we're doing. That's what our logical brain is fucking capable of goddamn doing. And I'm not, I'm not, in, I'm not involved in religious practice. I'm not involved in a religious ritual when I sit there and start putting shit in goddamn categories fucker. Alright, like being a consumer and a producer and also an economist. So this is a good a way to analogize it. We are consumers. We, are, we can be producers. We're, we're involved in the economy. We have a self-interest where we are consuming and producing items. But we could also have gone to college and we could understand economics. And we could understand that it's a mechanism that I'm caught in when I'm doing this consuming and producing. And that there's things like efficiency and competition and uh, monopolies and uh, cheating and thievery and, you know, all the other crap that goes with economics. And that I could understand and I could talk about the game that I'm involved in. The fact that I'm involved doesn't necessarily mean I can't have a rational understanding of the game. The fact that I am a corrupt, I have a self-interest doesn't mean I'm automatically a cheater and a thief. It means I can still have integrity in a conversation about economics even if I am just a consumer or just a producer and I have a self-interest. I can still understand the necessity of the consumption and the production having um, you know, an efficiency. Oh, God, I hate you people. Oh, I got a pimple, I think. Damn. <laughs> just everything is... Man, I burn my popcorn. You know, it's like everything's going wrong. Cookies, popcorn. I can't even cook popcorn anymore. It's just... Uh, it's pathetic. 
this, it just it really is a just. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, you know, it's not like I got some horrible problems, but I mean, there are all these little things. My ears are still clogged up. Um, yeah, well, whatever. Like I said, it's not. It could be worse. I'm just so I shouldn't complain. But it is just a little bit of a trying moment, few days thing, kind of. Anyway, so these, you know, let's just play some of this shit. So I'm not going to bother with this beginning part. This is just some mind ball, blah 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 bullshit. But it is just this bullshit that somehow. You know the universe doesn't exist if there isn't human minds. He keeps talking about humans, like human, like he's not even recognizing that humans evolved on planet Earth from other mammals, and that the other mammals are doing, are my, are having mind experiences. They're just not as um, rich as ours in terms of knowledge base, so they don't have as many categories as we have. We have more categories for all this stuff. We have more words to label them. But all the animals are also labeling things. They're definitely labeling things. Fuck that and ah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that and fuck that. Yeah, they're doing that too, shithead. Which is that there is such a thing as mind independent universe. It exists pretty much as it exists now. It's just got no people in it. And statements will. Yeah, yeah, it's this whole people in it thing. Like somehow the universe is significantly different. Like, like, this is somehow some sort of bold statement to say if humans never evolved on Earth, that somehow there still wouldn't be something really important taking place on planet Earth. Like, somehow that's a, that's a bizarre thing. That's a bizarre bit of speculation to say that all the other sentient creatures on this planet wouldn't be evolved in a very intense um, thing happening to them. Um, even if there wasn't humans here to play the oh, we're earthling games and to create the category of earthling and pretend we're significant. Yeah, there'd still be a hell of a lot of significant shit going on on planet Earth without goddamn human people um, uh, embiggening themselves. Fuck nut. Yeah, there'd be the same goddamn planet, essentially. Essentially, it was, a, it was just as significant a million or two million or ten million or a hundred million years ago as it is right the fuck now with people on it. Still a hell of a lot of sentient creatures eking out in existence. And you people are just so full of your fucking selves. You think without your perspective, you think without you sitting here on planet Earth or flying to the moon and looking at the Earth, that somehow that shit isn't going on. Fuck. would make about that universe are, if we are able to make any statements at all about it, are inherently objective because there is, they are not tainted by the presence of subjects. Human beings are subjects. We are... Well, again, this subject thing, is, I mean, everything, in the, everything is a subject, and it just doesn't matter. Some subjects don't feel anything, and some subjects don't think. So some subjects are doing the experience thing without doing the interpretation thing. They're not interpreting what they're, they're experiencing. They're just experiencing. And it's the experience, the, 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 the huge bizarre theory that we have is, is that it's the experience that matters, not the interpretation. You don't need the interpreter. The interpreter is irrelevant to the gameplay. Subject to... Um... I, mean, I mean irrelevant in the sense that the game happens, whether there's an interpreter or not. What interpreters are really great at doing is pointing out how you can make the game better. That's the whole point of being an economist, is that you can make the consumption and the production more productive. And that's what the interpreters can do. They can understand the mechanics, they can understand what's being fucking uh, traded in the commerce, and they can optimize the trading. That's the value of the interpreters. But the interpreters don't make the game. The game exists without them. All the kind of influences and, and perceptual tricks that, that come with our species and that's that subjectivity that is part of our subjecthood, of course, might uh, taint the data, mightn't it? So if you remove all the subjects from it, necessarily... Well, again, you don't have to remove it. You just have to remove its influence. So you can acknowledge the fact that you like to eat food, or even that you like to eat animals. You can acknowledge that fact, but you can still interpret it and understand that, that might have a, there might be a problem there because you're compromising something of equal value to yourself. So you could understand through interpretation that this is not something you probably should like and that maybe you should try to modify your behavior and try to retain the like part without the exploitation part. 
Not that complicated. Find something else to fucking eat. That's what the interpreter could advise you, that it would be ethically right and proper, it would be sensible, it would be rational, it would be reasonable, it would be productive and less destructive for you to migrate your behavior to still maximize your like, but minimize your take. Fuck. You would end up with a, uh, a description of the universe which has no subjectivity therefore is objective. At least that's the kind of logic. No, it isn't even close to any kind of logic anybody's applying here. Nobody is talking about objectivity as if it is coming from us. We're clearly saying the truth is in reality. The, 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 it's, it's out here. It's here. All we're talking about is perspective. Our perspective doesn't make the truth, okay? Our perspective makes the truth visible. So again, you have perverted the argument into some argument that we make it objective. No, we don't make it objective. We don't make it the truth ever. It is the truth and we can either accurately describe it, interpret it, or we can inaccurately describe it and interpret it. That's the two options here. You can, you can describe it accurately or you can describe it inaccurately, but it has absolutely nothing to do with any kind of making a description. You are fucking diagnosing a reality. All right? You are not creating it. So a mind-independent universe, a universe with minds evacuated from it, is it? So, so again, do you see this use of the word mind? What, what the fuck is the point of that? What is the point in using a words like that? A universe void of mind. What? You mean 20th century human uh, perspective mind? Or do you mean uh, mammalian, uh, pff, you know, horny, you know, fucking mind? What, what kind of mind are you extracting? What kind of mechanism are you saying a mind is? Is a mind a feeling thing, or is a mind merely a thinking thing? Fuck this word. It's just, a, it's religious talk. Is a universe which contains objectivity. You might say objective notions of reality, or we might even... <laughs> objective notions of reality. See, so, so what a brilliant way to say it. You mean true statements, true, true definitions of reality, descriptions of reality, true definitions of reality, accurate definitions of reality. Yeah, and you turn that into some sort of wrong thing, like somehow that's not attainable, like we somehow can't find the truth. No, the truth is right the fuck out there. All we need is the words and the coherency of language. So as soon as you use words like funky words like love and mind and all this other bibble babble talk, you know, instead of saying something like understanding that we have a psychology of motivating emotional responses that have no credibility as truth tellers, and then we have a logical mechanism that is able to glean categorical understanding of the world around it, and it can put things in categories and logically manipulate those categories and arrange those categories and multiply and divide those categories. Yeah, instead of doing that and recognizing that's how we actually do function, use some fucking blanket bullshit word like we're minding. No, minding isn't anything. Minding is bullshit. You're either thinking accurately or you're thinking with your fucking dick. You can say objective morality. At least I think that's the aspiration of atheists who want to say that morality is objective. They want to be able to, be able to move to a place outside of that universe that we live in, which is completely colonized by consciousness. Yeah, see, so again, he's saying that we are so corrupted by our emotions that we can't possibly have an intellectual thought. Somehow we are so corrupted by the fact that we're a pawn on the chessboard that we can't possibly imagine the chessboard and the players and the efficiencies of the attack strategies. That No, all we can do is be pawns. All we can do is say, I move this way or I move this way. That's all I do. I don't see anything else. I put my blinders on. I don't think about the game. All right? I don't even... I don't even understand what these other pawns are. And if I kill one of them, who cares? They're, they're, uh, they're nihilistically oblivious to me. All I know is move forward, move this way. Move left, move forward, move forward. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. No, of course we can do a lot better than that. Which is completely mind-dependent. 
the place outside of ourselves, the place beyond. Well, see, this is another bullshit. So if I'm a rat in a maze and I climb out of the maze, I climb up the wall and I sit on top of the wall and I look at the other mi rats, somehow I'm not acknowledging that they still have minds. Somehow I've eradicated mindedness from the universe. No, I haven't. I've merely said, I'm not playing right now. I'm just going to watch what happens in the game and see how the game is played. I'm still, still going to understand that there's minds playing the game, that they're all doing their mind thing as they're playing. And I can fully understand that if I was playing, I'd be doing the same mind thing. So I would have complete knowledge of what's going on inside their heads, which would be a huge advantage. And then I can say, what are they doing? What are they accomplishing? What is the surprise for what they're doing? the space and time of lived experience and into lived experience i mean this this whole fucking poetic pussy language is just so destructive to a rational conversation the universe at large somehow the universe without us that seems to be the same claim i think there's some parallels there you know religious people who hark to a uh, or gesture toward a, a, a divine origins for for morality and the and, and hark to it for what reason? Again, what is the reason they do that? Oh yeah, that's right, mommy told me. Right, Mula told me so. Mula threatened me with death and being hit by the, with a stick over and over again if I didn't say, yes, I believe in Mohammed. Yeah, so you're going to compare that to somebody who sits there, climbs out of the maze, looks at the other rats, looks at the guts all over the goddamn wall, and says, man, this game is stupid as fuck. Objective position that, that that divinity has. I say that it's beyond. It's beyond the space and time. That's where God is. Beyond the universe. Beyond space and time. It transcends space and time. Oh, that, that yeah. How many how many fucking religious people have I heard use those la that language? See, so again, this is just preposterous. You don't even you're not even you're not even being fair to the religious kooks. They don't use that much intellectual energy in their fucking faith, and you goddamn know it. They don't think about. God transcending space and time. Obviously, don't think at all about God. Because obviously, they haven't even considered the fact that they'd have to come up with some fucking explanation for where their fucking God was for a zillion trillion years before he all of a sudden decided to make human beings. What the fuck was God doing forever? For fucking ever? Before it occurred to him to, I will create human. They don't even think about that. You think they think about your goddamn space-time continuum crap? They don't think about any of that shit. They just think about the fact that God's a white guy, and God says we're cool, and God says they suck. That's as far as they fucking think, asshole. And they pretend that God's a capitalist, even though Jesus was fucking commie all over the goddamn place. They lie about what God is. They think they're going to go to fucking heaven and they're going to hook up with their ex-wife. They think a lot of fucking nonsense. They don't think is the answer, right? And you're going to compare me to these non-thinkers, you cunt. And you're going to expect me to say anything to you, but fuck you, cunt. I've spent my whole fucking life analyzing every one of these fucking questions every fucking way possible. And you're going to compare me to a dogmatic religious fuck and say what to me? That I'm not supposed to say fuck you to you? Fuck you. And that same kind of gesture, I think, is made by um, atheists who, who, who I think would like to ground that perception in, in some kind of scientific and rational basis. No, who, who would like to just sit there and say, oh shit, I can have an intelligent conversation with assholes on earth? No, the problem is half of them are religious and half of them don't want there to be a truth. You're the asshole who's sitting there saying, well, because value can't be drawn on a picture of it, because you can't put value in a jar, because you can't put pain and suffering in a jar and show it to me, somehow it doesn't exist. There is no value. There is no meaning. It doesn't matter whether there's screwdrivers in everybody's fucking eye. You can't prove it matters. Nah, 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 nah. You can't prove my God doesn't exist. You can't prove that it doesn't. It matters that there's screwdrivers in everybody's eye. I shouldn't have to prove it. Not, not terribly effectively, in my opinion. Yeah, well, in my opinion, you're completely ineffectual. And in my opinion, you fucking suck. And that's all I got to say to you, fucker. Fuck you and this bullshit, you slandering cunt.